Hello everyone! Welcome to Inside Kairos video tutorials, dedicated to demonstrate the unlimited power of the platform, redesigning how the video production is done. Kairos allows you to build multi-viewers and share them over IP. Helge, what's so special about the multi-viewers in Kairos? Yeah, apart from that, I can distribute the multi-viewers over IP. I can include the GPU metering, I can do the analog clocks, digital clocks, countdown, uh, audio metering, all of that, uh, and composite that onto my uh, presets and save with the production, but the easiest way is just do it straight on the machine though. Helge, could you please demonstrate how do the multi-viewers work in Kairos? Sure, I will do that. Starting and enable the um, tallies for multi-viewers first, so I can pick from six different colors, so typically using red for my um, main on-air border and um, your screen for my pre preview site. Um, let's jump into the layout. Um, so I can pick from 10 pre-builds from the factory presets down here. And on the right hand side, I can store my own presets. Um, very simple, do a right mouse click and I get the store command. Um, and later on we can rename, delete, and clear all of this again. In the multi viewers, you see my tile numbers over here, one to 10. In this case, I'm using the 10 split A over here. If I want to manipulate this or take this as a start point, um, I can use the move button over here, then I can use the mouse straight away from over here, or I simply use that drag pad over here. Um, later on, I can also use the wheel, of course, over here to change the position. I can insert more tiles and whatnot. Um, I prepared something here um, with an area also from Maldivia 1. I put this in here as well. I uh, have a free um, empty space over here to insert some other elements or even other tiles though. Adding a tile, drag this over here, so I want to have this in this size and move it to the screen, drag it in, I'm done. Okay, and what kind of uh, inputs are possible to be used? Inputs actually, the way I'm treating inputs is I, I click on a position number over here or I click into the tile or I click down in here and wherever I'm doing this, it will open automatically my all my different sources I can put into a tile. Could be a scene, could be inputs, uh, effects inputs and whatnot. But very good feature though, I think, is also that I can put my aux buses straight into the multi-viewer um, to visualize those in here. So putting in my aux number one, and you see aux one appearing over here. So I cancel this dialogue and discard it and remain on main. And are there any other elements that can be used? Yeah, yeah, yeah certainly. Um, I'm making a right mouse click in here and see the drop down menu saying I can add in analog clocks, digital clocks, labels, GPU metering, countdown clocks. I'm starting with an analog clock. Yeah, I keep the name over here. Uh, you see it's appearing this huge uh, analog style clock. So I click on this, size it down a little, and remove it to the lower left corner, make it slightly larger, um, and leave it in here. I'm taking another clock style, this is a digital clock saying, uh, yeah, digital clock, fine, it's good. Uh, also over here, it appears with a default color over here. So I want to change that color style, make this a more greenish style color, uh, put this in here. Now I'm able to change this from AM, PM, or 24 clock hour, um, or show also the frame count in here, changing the size of the element, use the wheel again, um, reposition, take the slant out. Um, right now it's slanted to the right, make it a non, so it's an upright position. Um, also, this one appears in default in local time. Um, I can give this thing a label as well. Um, change the size, uh, just adapt this just a little. Um, use the positioning in here. And again, this is just now referencing to the, my local time. Let's say if I want to face this as an Asian time for Panasonic for Tokyo, uh, I simply go into <clears throat> my time zone field over here and pick from Asia, um, going all the way down. Uh, seeing to finding Tokyo over here done. And another very helpful feature though is actually having the GPU metering which always appears in the upper right corner of my screen. I want to have this also as part of my multi-viewer. So I insert my GPU meter. Um, yeah, name is good. Um, drag this down here and I want this 48% size. And pick it up from here, reposition somewhere over here. And one more is a countdown clock. Um, countdown clock from up here, um, changing that size as well. Make this the same size as the other elements up there. And leave it as a slant. 
and make this more yellowish. Colorize it and give it a start time code. So when I have it in 10 seconds, type this in. And for him, you can use the controls, start the countdown, pause the countdown, reset the countdown. Later on, we're going to see how to drive this also with the, with the macro, panel macros or scene macros, do it straight from the operational point of view. And let's imagine we want to share the multi-viewer, for example, over AP. Are okay. there any yeah, options? Yeah. First of all, right here in the GUI, um, at this moment, I'm in the layout window. And let me save this uh, clock style here, or this, this uh, style for this um, multi-viewer, and I store this. And you see, it's also grabbing the thumbnail from my positions over here and displays this in my screen, in my grid. Um, if I want to apply this also to my secondary multi-viewer on the right-hand side, so I simply click on this, so I duplicate it on that side. Um, and then I have the tab called Live View. And then from here, I can go straight into the GUI and stream the multi-viewer with all the live elements into my screen surface of the GUI. Apart from this, I determined also on my output settings that um, Kairos is sending an RTP stream um, on my output number 16, which I'm picking up um, on a network computer uh, using a VLC uh, program in this case, and my output number 40, I'm using an NDI. And on this NDI, um, I have it internally here on my screen, use my tab, uh, change the window. So this is now using um, my studio monitor from the NDI output. However, though, um, coming back to my GUI, this is just determine what is the style of that stream. Um, and in my AUX buses, here I can, I can select what I'm sending on these outputs. Right now, that's MultiViewer 2. And when you turn around and look at this screen over there, which is interconnected over my uh, separate GUI laptop over there sitting in the network, um, and you minimize the window on the right screen, um, then you're going to see that's a VLC RTP stream um, going over the network and showing this over here. Now, when I change that cross point, I can put anything on this on this element saying I want to have my RAM recorder channel in here straight. So I simply pick the RAM recorder up or I use my internal screens saying I want to have my color bars over here or any other cross point I can possibly think of. Every cross point can be routed. Cancel that dialog will flip back to my multi view head that's over the network. That's great. Thank you very much and see you in the next episode of Inside Kairos video. Thank you.